Hi guys, welcome back to us up here at the storage yard today. Now today we're going to be making something that will help us around the caravan when we're set up or when we're packing away. And uh, these are a cable tidy thingamajigs. I think that's what I'm going to call them. Uh, they're very simple to make, very straightforward, but do you know what? They're an absolute godsend for when you're packing up or when you're setting up or even when you are set up. What they are, they're just a piece of conduit pipe and a piece of bungee cord, like so. I think you can see how that operates. And the idea is this, is that you have one of these, and let's say we want to tie up our pump here, which has still got some water in it, weirdly. Uh, very simply, all we want to do is uh, just loop it around whatever it is that we want to uh, tie up, like so, wrap the bungee back around, and the conduit holds it in place. So there you go, that's nicely tied up. Now I find these useful for when I'm going to get the water, I tie the actual pump up like you just saw, I tie that up against the caravan so the pump doesn't then fall off onto the floor. And then when we're back and the aqua roll is in place, I then tie up the filling tube that we have as well. And I tie that up onto the handle of the aqua roll and that makes sure that doesn't fly away either. The other places I use it is when we're packing away. I tidy up and keep my aerial cables all tied up with one of these. So once I roll it up, I tie one of these around it and make sure that the aerial cable doesn't come undone or not up. And then the other place I've started using one is I've made a bigger one that goes around the electric hookup. Now we do have one of those cable tidy drums that you, you can buy, uh, the orange and black ones for instance, but I usually find that the actual cable does start to unravel from it. So if you make one long enough, you can wrap one of those round as well. And the other good place as well is that you can actually use them in the awning as well. If you put one of these around the awning pole, you then actually have a loop which can fall down like so, and then you can actually use that to hang things from as well. So they are quite useful to make. So let me show you how we make one and show you some tips on making sure that you get it absolutely right. Okay, so what do we need to make one of these up? Well, it's very straightforward. What we need to purchase is some 21.5 mil pipe from uh, the DIY center and I've bought this from B&Q and it would cost me a couple of pounds for a couple of meters um, Very easy to purchase. It's in the plumbing section and then some bungee cord and I bought this off of eBay I've bought five meters worth of three mil Bungee cord and you can specify the different widths etc. So if you want to make a big one You obviously make it with thicker bungee cord, but this is three mil and I've bought it as red because I want it So I can find it if I drop it some of the tools that we're going to need to make one of these up with is a um, a Saw and I'm using my Leatherman for that um, A tape measure a pair of scissors a lighter and a drill the drill bit I'm using today is a four mil drill bit or three and a half mil drill bit fine uh, just need to be big enough to put one of these through. Now, if you have got an abundance of corks at home, um, you can use corks instead of using the PVC pipe. Um, I chose the PVC pipe route because initially when I made this up, I wanted it hollow so I could actually put the TV uh, plugs. When I roll up the TV cable, I wanted it hollow so I could put the TV plugs in here. And as you can see inside, let me see, there you go. As you can see inside, the cable across would actually grip the uh, plugs and then by the time you wrap it around itself it would hold it all tight in place. So today I'm going to make another one up and I'm going to make this one up specifically for our water pump here. Uh, I want it to be held in place for when we are in storage uh, so this is all nice and tight etc and then obviously I can wrap it around it when I go and pick up the water from the uh, water station and then finally I can use it on the aqua roll itself to hold the filler pipe in place to make sure that doesn't fly away. So let's crack on and let's make one up. So this is my own design here. Now you can obviously change this design around to suit your needs. Um, but what I start with is I start with about 75 mil length, which is there. And I'm just gonna mark on the pipe 75 mil, like so. And then I'm going to mark 25 mil, which is there and 50 mil which is there so there we go i hope you can see that now i've just marked here 25 mil 50 mil and then 75 mil so what i tend to do at this point is not cut it off but instead drill the holes out and as i said i'm going to use a four mil drill bit here and i'm just going to drill the pipework out now at all if possible try not to use a bmw x5 as a workbench it doesn't really work
there we go, we're all cut up now and all ready to receive the bungee cord. Maybe not the best way to cut it on the back of the car to be honest with you, and the uh, Leatherman is a bit rough to be fair. So what we're going to use is the bungee cord now itself, and uh, this I, as I said, I purchased from eBay. It cost a couple of pounds for five meters. I think it was three pounds actually I, I spent on this. Um, I'll put links to everything that I used below. So all we're going to do now is feed it through one side like so, and I'll tell you the reason why we're doing it this way. And then we're going to go right back through the other side to create our loop. And like I said, I'll show you why we're doing it this way. And then very simply tie a knot on one end. Like so. And then pull it back and you can see that's now nice and secure. So the reason why I've gone down this route of putting it through and creating a loop myself is that we can now accurately measure how much bungee cord we actually need. And I want to use this one to hold my pump together when we're in transit. So I know that I'm going to want about that much bungee, probably a little bit less to be fair. So it's nice and tight. So I know if I put a knot in there now, that's going to be the right size. So before we've cut anything, I'm just going to put a temporary knot in here. One of those ones that you can just undo itself just by putting a loop in place like so. So if I pull that tight, we can now try it out to see whether I've got that right or not. I'm just going to hold that in place like so. And I think actually that's a bit too loose. So let's just readjust that. The great thing about putting loops in place is you can undo them as well. Oh no, that's good. Yeah, that will hold everything in place perfectly. Great, so I know how much bungee I need now then. Now all we need to do is cut it off with a pair of scissors and tidy up the ends. So first of all, what I'm going to do is undo the loop that I put in place. Cut it about there. Retime my loop, my knot, sorry. If you can, use a pair of scissors when you're doing the bungee cord because that way you get a nice clean cut, like so. We'll just double check it, make sure that we're happy with it. Absolutely, that's now perfect. That's gonna hold everything in place when I'm in transit. All we're going to do now is just trim up the edges. by the knots and they will fray naturally over time so the next trick here is to use a lighter and just melt the edges back so that the nylon doesn't fray like so and that will stay in place perfectly and there we go guys that's it that's a cable tidy thingamajig. I think you find this pretty useful to have around the caravan. Out of a two meter section you're going to make anywhere between 25 and 30 of these things so they, you know they work out quite cheap um, to, to make themselves. Uh, the benefit is as well you can customize them to your own liking, your own need. So if you need them with a bit more um, bungee in them, if you need them to be a little bit more manly, you can also make them out of other things as well. So corks are a good alternative if you've got some corks at home um, and if you don't have any um, bungee cords, well simply just tie an elastic band around a cork and uh, if you do that then you get exactly the same principle so that's another alternative as well so if you've got lots of corks at home from the festive period and you've got some elastic bands lying around as well then you can knock up some of these as well but you know that's not the only thing we can do with pipe and bungee cords and let me show you something else that we can make as well now you would have seen on site in a lot of places that people turn up when they um, fill up their water rolls, they have solid pipes and you know what there's no reason why you can't make one of these yourselves Buying something like this, which is 40 mil pipe, again from the DIY center, you can make yourself up a really nice solid 
filling tube. And the reason why you'd want a solid one is because, and the way we're going to make it, it will fit onto any tap, it'll fit onto any configuration, and you won't ever have water splashing around the floor. And when you're camping in winter conditions, obviously you don't want to have any water running around and the threat of it turning into ice. So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to use our two metre section of pipe, like this, which I've purchased from B&Q. This cost me three pounds for this. Now, obviously you're not gonna use all of it. So the idea here is that we're gonna chop this up and we're gonna give a few of these away to some of our friends. I'm gonna cut these up at about half a meter length. So that means I'm gonna get four out of one section of two meter pipe. So let's go and give that a go now. So again, I wouldn't recommend you use a, uh, a, a BMW X5 for uh, a good workbench, but it's the only one I've got right now. So uh, I'm just going to measure off now 50 centimetres and then again I'm just going to cut these using my Leatherman. Now it doesn't make a very neat cut so what I'm going to end up doing is once I've cut it I'm going to go over with some wet and dry just to tidy up the edge as well. <laughs> There we go, that's good enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two holes in here now, at about 20 mil down, which is about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed it from the outside in and we're going to knot it on the inside. So again, a nice knot like so and we'll tidy that up again in a moment and then how much bungee you want to leave on here is completely up to you I'm going for about 25 centimeters worth of bungee um, and the reason why I'm going for so much you'll see why in a minute the reason why I'm going for so much is that I'm going to tie it off at the end but it also allows me to tie it off at a lower point as well, which then means it's going to be adjustable. So let's put the first knot in here. And there we go, that's, that's perfect for putting on a tap, I think you'll agree. But if that's too long, what I can do is I can just put one of those loop knots in here as well. Let's put one in there, for instance. And then that shortens down the whole thing quite small, you see. So the reason why I've gone for such a long length is that that allows me then to adjust it when we're on site. I think you'll find that's good. Now the only thing left to do now is to take this home and give it a really good clean. And what I'm going to do is clean it up with some bicarbonate of soda. Obviously give it a really good flush through and a wash through as well. And then that's ready to go. So I'm going to make three more of these and give three of these away to my friends. Right, there we go guys. Who'd have thought you'd have so much fun with bungee cord and pipe, right? Um, so there's two things you can go and make now. Um, just remember, I've made this one 50 mil long. You may find that's a bit short for your requirements, uh, which is fine. So, you know, experiment, you may want to make it 75 centimeters long, not 50 centimeters long. Um, but you know, it's up to you. It's personal preference, isn't it? I'm gonna give it a go at 50 centimeters long. I'll probably report back and tell you it's way too short. And then obviously the bungee cord, I've made it so that we can change the uh, length of it as well. So that's that's what we've done. So there we go, that's the um, filler pipe that we've got. Now, of course, when we're not using this, this needs to live somewhere. And perfectly, I've got one of these that can wrap around it and tie it to the handle of the aqua roll so it doesn't walk away. So there you go, guys. I hope that's been of use for you today. Uh, a filler pipe which you can make in under 10 minutes and some really handy cable tidy thingamy bobs uh, which take seconds to make and are very useful around the van. Hope that's been of use to you. Until the next one guys, we'll see you again soon. Bye now.